Hey guys, welcome back to Life on the Eddie Family Farm. I'm going to take you up here to the front because we have something new coming to the farm. And it's something we've needed for a while just because we do live on a, um, a kind of dangerous back road. Just It's, it's a back road, so it, people go fast, they may drink on the weekends, whatever. But um, I'm going to show y'all what we got started up here and then I'll take you back there to the goats and see if we have some mamas having babies. It's chilly today, super, super, like it's supposed to be in the 70s all day today. So right now it's probably either mid 50s to 60s. So I got my jeans on and I got my hoodie and I'm still cold. But I'm gonna turn this around and this is the progress we have right now. And um, so yeah, I'll turn this around. So you can see we are actually getting this, our gate fixed. This is what we've been working with for a while now. And this, we just kind of use this rope because this kept loosening up for some reason. So we got the rope and it's actually held it up for the most part. And then we just have, we used to have a T-post here, but with trucks coming in and out, um, sometimes and never knowing when they're going to come in and out for the house, we just took the T-post out so they can just swing it back or wherever if they need to. And then, I mean... It's a little bit of rink -a dink but that's how we've got it so far. How we've been doing it. And see how close it is to this road. So, um, when we drive, like, you know, we go to town multiple times. Brandon usually, he stays home for the most part. But, like, I have um, practice to get the kids to. Or we may, Brandon may have to take Leighton to practice. And I take the girls to practice. Or vice versa whichever way and um what we do is we will pull in here and we will whoever is in the car usually it's Leighton or me but we will hurry up and get out and open the gate and let us drive in before there's a hill right here and these cars go pretty fast sometimes and we have to just hurry up um a lot of times I will actually when I get about a mile down the road maybe a little bit farther i will call brandon because he's usually here at the house i will call him or i'll call layton if layton's here and they will actually drive the side by side up here and open the gate for me or brandon will call me and i'll come open the gate or whatever but um luckily that is about to be done hopefully it'll be done today maybe sometime this week anyways but this is what they've got done so far they got our post one two three and this back one and then they have this line because i'm guessing that is where they are actually going to be um cutting it they're gonna make it straight where all poles are the same exact length and then um the same on this side you got the one two three poles and then um there's a lot of poles over here. So I have no idea what the actual plan is. I'm, I'm guessing they put bars along them. I don't know. I've never, we've never done a gate before. But we've always had this one long gate. Well, we will actually probably be moving that to the back. We have a temporary um, barbed wire fence that we just kind of put together a long time ago. Well, we will actually be moving that gate back there. And then we will have a double gate. So, it's going to be really good. Um, we are going to be making it where we have a button and it opens it up. And then there will be a code out here so you can get it opened. So, that's going to be nice. Um, this right here... They are actually going to leave it um, open like that. Brandon said the purpose for that is because when the big trucks come in, 
when our house is when they actually start building the actual house frame and everything there's going to be big and tall trucks that come in for that and um so we're not going to do the overhead yet but we will have everything ready for when the house is done and none of the big trucks and stuff are coming that they will actually um come in and put the overhead and make like our sign or you know something like that these are the caps that will actually go on top of like these right here they just make them pretty just like that so i'm super excited about this i wish it wasn't so cold today i know when it's hot i wish it's not hot when it's cold i wish it's not cold and that's just part of life but yeah i'm super excited um yeah i'm just super excited i'm excited to see it finished because they're just it's been a long time coming and we said we didn't want to put the gate up or do a new gate or a fence line or anything like here we didn't want to do that until the either they started on the house or at least got the house done because that is something with the trucks coming in so but i'm glad we're gonna go ahead and start it and so we don't have to be in the uh, roadway when we're trying to get in the house we got a lot of rain the other night a lot of rain it stormed and stormed and it was just real peaceful and i love storms speaking of gates brandon i don't know if the electric's on right now so i'm not going to open it or touch it but brandon finished this off just like the other gate though we're going to be cutting it off about right here and um obviously we will keep this up so we will have to duck underneath it or um i don't know maybe he'll tie it off from t-post or something i'm not exactly sure what are you two doing hi toby hi carly here comes dixie what are y'all doing huh what are y'all doing yeah you smell it don't you toby keeps smelling the electric line hi girls what are you doing y'all are so sweet mm. all right get back on here get back up here to the goats and um, we had three mamas still in the mama pen that has not had kids yet so i'm going to go check on them and see if they've actually had kids and kind of peek around also because some of the other mamas don't look as pregnant but you never know because one can be barely pregnant and have a kid before everybody's bodies are different same in goats goats may look crazy pregnant like they're gonna have a kid tomorrow then there's a goat that doesn't look pregnant and she may pop a kid out so we'll get over here and see it's kind of muddy and i'm not really in my bad shoes what is it what is it all right let's unplug this Get in here. Uh, uh, uh. What do you do that for? The pups are jumping on me. Got me all muddy already. No, back. Okay, hop in here. Oh, there's a baby on the outside. Um, I wonder if that's her baby. I need to get it back in here though. That's weird. 
That's weird that it would be on the outside. I don't know how it would get on the outside. Y'all didn't have no kids, did you? I don't know. I mean, this is a new one. I can tell because we haven't had one with eyes like that. You have pretty colors. Is this your baby? Look. Is that your baby? Yep, it is. She smells her. Good mama. Why are your babies on the outside? How did it get out? All right, let me look. I'm just looking, Mom. It's okay. I'm gonna go look around here because just in case she had more than one. That is so weird. Look at this baby laying down drinking. That's hilarious. All y'all kiddos. I hear a goat over here. What in the world? You jumped in there and couldn't get out, huh? This goat over here, it's um, one of Cinnamon's babies. <laughs> you can see that gate is open. He must have jumped in there and now he can't get out. Okay, so I'm going to, since we do have a baby, the first thing me and Brandon both have, um, we have things like if I find a baby that's being born, I call him. If he, he knows there's a baby being born, um, he tells me. So I'm going to go ahead and call him and have him come over here. All right, he is actually on his way over here now. And I kind of want to look on the outside because I don't know how she could have had a kid and it get on the outside. That That's always scary, not knowing, not knowing if there's more than one. Hi, Mama. Look at her sticking her tongue out. Oh, you put it back in. Come on, Mama. Come on, Mama. I know you're scared. It's okay. It's okay, Mama. It's okay. It's okay, Mama. I know you're skittish. We haven't had you long. It's a good size baby, though. And it's dry. Oh, here's Brandon. Hey, the weird thing. The weird thing is that baby was on the outside right here. Yeah. So it crawl, crawl through the hole. It's a bigger baby though. I don't see any more. Not knowing. But it is cute. I mean, it's got the little brown ankles. Yeah. I'm guessing there's only one. But I've kind of looked around a little bit. Girl. Little girl. That's awesome. So at least two more. Yep. Yep, Gracie and, well, the other white one that's kind of newer, too. <laughs> but, yeah, it looks like um, Cinnamon's baby jumped in that, um, the brooder thing, because it can't, he can't get out. <laughs> so, I figure out, I'll go get him in a minute. So, nope, I was just showing him our gate entrance and stuff and then we came down here and I was like let's see if we got kids because we have three that are pregnant but so we did we had one kiddo
she looks really good too. Yeah, she's bigger too. So we're going to leave them in here just for a little bit longer until probably about another two weeks. And then once, once these guys get big enough, we'll let them out here. And then after that, we're going to move mama and them back out there. Um, yeah. That way we can start winging them. Yep. They're so freaking cute. She's going from one side to the other. Y'all notice though, Brandon's been milking that one teat to make it the same size and both of them are almost the same size now. This one's still a little bit bigger, but it's nothing like it was. <laughs> it's cracking me up how she's going back from one to the other, one to the other. Or I mean he, she had both boys, didn't she? <laughs> uh, No, she's tricking mama. Yeah. Both of the babies are down here. Where's the other baby? It was over here. Where's your brother? Oh. Probably in here. Good grief. I don't know how y'all are all fitting in there. Yeah, he's laying in here. One, two, three, four, five, six today. Six of y'all. Let me get these two right here. <laughs> Where are you going? Where are you going? <laughs> well, Gracie, you gonna have your kiddos? I think it's funny. Red Bear keeps her kiddos over here away from everybody else. I think it's just funny. What are y'all doing over here? Are y'all resting? Hi. Y'all don't want to play with other kids? They're like, would you uncover me? I know it's warm. All right. They like it because it's warm under there. Mama, these kiddos are gonna outgrow you. Yeah, they're gonna outgrow you. I'm just super excited about all the new babies. Oh, I hope I caught that on camera. That was adorable. And she's drinking really well, too. Good mama. Good mama. You're the prettiest one, I think. I love the charcoal color. Where you at? There you are. Hi. How y'all doing? Did y'all stay warm? Mm. Did y'all stay warm in there? Y'all sharing comfort? Are you sharing? Alright, well, I'm going to walk back up here kind of where Pennywise and them were because Pennywise looks like she could be kidding pretty soon, too. 
And like I said, she didn't get very big, I don't believe, when she had her kids last time, which she, um, we had problems with her child that one birth. So she had some complications. Hi, Pennywise. Now, Brownie doesn't look bred at all. Pennywise does, and this white one right back here. Both of them two look fairly bred. There's Mama G. Mama G's kiddos right back here. Look at Air Jordan. She knows how to hit that thing, and it knocks feet out. We have it tied up with some wire but she knows how to get it out. Air Jordan. Air Jordan. Hey. Ma'am. You're not supposed to do that. I have someone pulling on my... Look at that. Hey, don't be horning me. That hurts. This is Brownie's little baby. Hi. Hi. She's pretty friendly, but she's still running away. Hi, honey. Brandon's over there playing clean up, but it is. It's like we can clean up one day and the next day there's still more stuff always on the farm. When he, I gotta gather, I'm getting ready to gather these feed buckets up too. We got one over here because we have them in this area, but then the goats think, oh, it's a feed bucket. There's probably feed in it. They get their head stuck in it. I hope I can actually video one, one of these times because it is pretty cute. Hi, Juliet. Hi, sister. Y'all act like y'all are on different pins, but you're not. It's right. It's open over there. Hi. You're getting your winter coat. Look at that. That it's getting thick. Yeah. You sweetheart. You are a sweetheart. Hi, Romeo. It's a good boy. Good boy. As long as you're not biting pigs. Yeah, are you biting pigs? I hope not. Wilbur and Ernie are actually out here on this outside pen. They're not. We, I went ahead and moved them and um, so that they wasn't going to wasn't going to be any fighting anymore. I think it's just a stud thing. It's just a stud thing where they want to have that dominance. And I think it's, you know, the pigs are both boys. Well, when you have all the boys together, it's just not, it's a battle. What? All right, you're gonna have to get out. I know. Come here. <laughs> there you go. Y'all hear her, him? He sound like mom, mom. Oh, I thought he was gonna go get that feed bucket. Now, Badger, I think she wants you to leave her alone. Oh, look how sweet. They're so sweet. <laughs> All right, guys, but before I go pick up those feed buckets, I'm gonna go help Brandon. We're getting a bunch of that trash and stuff that was in the tiny house that 
the stuff that we had to use to, um, he was doing the texturizing and stuff and um, we're gonna go haul it off. So I'm gonna go help him. So I hope you guys enjoyed this video. Go ahead and give me a thumbs up, turn, turn the notification bell on and subscribe. God bless.